a sharp 11 a.m. in the morning, under a pale blue, scorching hot sky, and the endless Arabian Sea spread like a blue jelly carpet before me as I dive in. I'm trained to dive when my coach whistles. It's a reflex I haven't tried to fight off yet. Thinking is all that a swimmer can do, because swimming is our instinct. In this vast blue jelly spread, I put in all my energies to swim forward. The water is like a child. Sometimes it is well behaved and allows me to swim as far as a kilometer and a half in an hour. And at other times, it is unaccommodating and I barely swim 400 meters in the same time. I love this water, this blue jelly carpet that hugs me and keeps me buoyant and I can feel that it loves me back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Gaurvi Singhvi, 14 years old and studying in class 9th at DPS Udaipur. On 26th March of this year, I became the first girl to cross the open sea route from the ceiling to the uh, gateway of India in a record time of 6 hours and 35 minutes. My early swimming days, as far back as I can remember, are memories from photographs of completing the first 50 meters of a pool, the competitions, the coach's whistle, the winning by a second or losing a position by a microsecond, the dirty changing rooms, awful food during competitions, the muscle pulls, and the right flips. We wear swimming caps, suits that fit a five-year-old, and then we wear medals. Soon we are told we are champions. We come on the sports page of the newspaper, and before we know it, we are a story. A story, ladies and gentlemen, of how I became a record-holding swimmer. The story of the big shift from the swimming pool to the Arabian Sea with the Fateh Sagar Lake in between. My life as a swimmer started when my mother took me to the play pool. Uh, in, in grade 6, I wanted to participate in the district swimming championship. I came back home excitedly to tell Mama that I was one of the four girls selected from my school to participate in that championship. And guess what? She refused. She just said no. I was obviously too young to fathom this no or protest against it. When this competition ended, I realized that girls who, who were far behind me in the pool had won a bronze medal, and that girls who were slower than me had won medals as well. I cried my heart out for the lost chance and won over my parents to let me participate in the district championship next year. In grade 3, I finally won my first bronze and silver medal in district level SGFI championship. Grade 4 got better, and finally in grade Fifth, I played my first state tournament. My training now got more demanding. From two hours in the evening, we added an hour in the morning and some ground exercises too. My routine changed, early rising, morning training, school, and then back to practice at five in the evening. I would literally doze off on the way back home. But my hard work was rewarded. I've been the district champion for the past four years and a national player from Sixth onwards, my stamina improved, my swimming got better. With every win came a little more motivation and a lot more seriousness and dedication. My outings became rarer, birthday parties disappeared from my calendar, so did pizzas, pani puris, and burgers from my food menu. All that I made a face at was my best friend. That's the thing about individual sports, you do what you want to. But I think, in a way, that's also good. You can do it in the way that you want to do it. So, after six years of competitive swimming, 50s, 100s, 200s, in breaststrokes, freestyle and butterfly, in sometimes clean and mostly dirty pools, I was on a winning spree. One day, my coach tells me to swim a kilometer stretch in the Fateh Sagar Lake for the Lake Festival to be held in January 2017. The Fateh Sagar, as beautiful as it may seem to the tourist's eye, is we, the city people, have seen clothes being washed, garbage being discarded, and sometimes buffaloes relieving themselves of the heat in the summers. Can you imagine what that implies on a 13-year-old as finicky as can be? I wouldn't walk barefoot at the poolside or enter the dirty changing rooms, and now I was told to jump in the lake, and that too in winters. So finally, I participated in the race and won too. Though it was a race for over 19 years old and I did not get the prize money, it surely opened my door to open water, long-distance swimming. 
In a week's time, my mother and coach were discussing a 16 kilometer and then a 36 kilometer swim. Sea swimming is not new to India, but open sea swimming is. What has been swam for decades is the creek or the harbor, the Dharamtar Ali Bagh and some other routes. People often ask me if this not so hard of sea swim was scary. The vastness, the depth, the sea animals and the sea animals and the waves. But for me, it wasn't. It felt just like home. Home with a ro roller coaster in the garden. The thrill of an adventure with the comfort of knowing that the water keep me buoyant. It is and will be my favorite place to be. So before I know it, I was in Mumbai looking out at the Arabian Sea. I put in all my energies to accomplish what I'd set for myself. I truly believe that if you dream, and dream that you must, you have all the energies in the world to accomplish it. Just dream, work hard, believe, and do not cheat. So I had a three-day training prior to my 16-kilometer swim, and I luckily got a calm sea, a high tide, and a windy rough sea. And I was now more prepared than ever. My goal I'd set myself was to swim 16 kilometer and then 36 kilometer off the coast of Mumbai in the Arabian Sea. But nothing in the world had prepared me for the cold, salty waves thrashing against me, the debris of discarded plastic bags, rotten fruits, and even the carcass of a rat. All over is the nauseating smell of oil spills. So on March 21st, 2017, I was supposed to do my first swim. I eat a heavy carb diet a night prior, get up early, finish my warm-up, and uh, recheck and check all my stuff to be taken to the jetty. When my observer was waiting for, for me from Mumbai Aquatic Association, who was supposed to verify my swim. With everyone's blessings, we jumped onto the fisherman's boat. I dived in from the governor's house and finished at the gateway of India to finish being the first girl to swim the open uh, sea route and make a record of 3 hours and 58 minutes. At the gateway of India, I was greeted by my family and friends. I liked being the first girl to accomplish a feat, but I liked it even better to beat all the boys and race up to be the first to set that open sea record. I was happy, yes, but even more excited for the next swim after four days, the 37 kilometers. For a day, I must have rested, but then had to get up for my warm-up in the building pools downstairs. All that swim, that it was the most boring swim I've ever done. I longed to go back to the sea, the way, the excitement and the thrill. Like last time, my meals managed, my sleeping time, rising time, warm-ups, etc. And we start off with more will, more prayers. At the jetty, we are told that the tides are wet, so we would have to wait impatiently. We waited for an hour, two hours, three hours, and finally at 11 p.m., we reached the worldly sea link. Under the scorching hot sun, we started off. I am sl slathered with Vaseline, split a coconut, pray to God, and at the coach of my whistle, I dive in. I must have barely swum around 300 meters when I realized that my sovereign's boat was nowhere in sight. It was a sharp moment of flash panic as I stand rooted and terrified. This vast ocean in front of me, and I can't see a single person around me for kilometers. I was now almost three kilometers away from my parents or any other individual. Somewhere far off, I suddenly heard my coach shouting for me to swim on. And I knew to swim on was my chosen way, and to stop wasn't even an option. The waves were abundant. I liked the waves rising three to four feet high and dropping me back on a jelly spongy sea, only to rise again. You have to find a rush of adrenaline on your own. You cannot reach there until you've broken your boundaries of fear and challenged yourself to come out a winner. My speed was better than expected. The sun, a little too strong, it being hardly my concern because I was busy realizing my dream of being the youngest girl from Rajasthan to attempt the waves. At 4.30 p.m., I had swam 25 kilometers and I was charged. But nature has its own way. The tides changed and the sea was flowing backwards now. I was told to keep up my speed, but I could literally feel being pulled back. 
For an hour or so, I kept near, uh, I kept struggling near the lighthouse that wouldn't let me swim on. Can you imagine? You're putting in more effort than you did before, fling your hands and legs, but you just can't move on. I was now getting frustrated and exhausted. My parents, coach, everyone tried to keep my spirits high, but I was getting dehydrated. After a gap, the gateway could be noticed over the horizon. Soon the buildings and then the boats. This was motivating because I could see my destination in front of my eyes now. I was nearing the gateway and the water was very filthy. However, I wanted to focus on the steps of the gateway that I wanted to touch the soonest I could. At 6.30 p.m., in a record time of 6 hours and 35 minutes, I finally finished my swim, reaching, uh, reaching the shore. Family, friends, media, almost everyone had a word of appreciation. I was overjoyed. A goal achieved, a point proven. But a little empty too, because all that I had done for the past months was sleep, walk, talk, this swim. It didn't feel as big in the beginning, but slowly, when it sank in, it definitely fe felt great to be the first to open a sea route. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my story so far of just swimming. Story of the collection of caps and medals and t-shirts. The story of not really being able to put into words how the meet went. Story I live for. The practice, the pain, the joy, the memories, the feeling of fulfillment and achievement. To end my story on singularity today, I would like to quote Eminem. If you had one shot, one opportunity to win everything you could in one moment, just let it capture you, let it split, and lose yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>